was popping with everybody. I just got off work not too long ago. I'm mad tired. I work a lot, a lot, a lot. But it's to make sure that I never go back to where I was. But don't get it messed up. You have to have a balance between work life and home life so that everything balances out. So with that being said, I thought I would tap in with you guys today and record this video because I think a lot of people lack emotional intelligence when it comes to certain things in life they're not equipped to handle. For instance, pain, 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 pain. It's real, it exists, it's not a hoax, it's not uh, something that you could just get rid of in, in five to 10 minutes, it lasts. And I say that to say that I had my younger brother taken from me, same mama, same daddy, when I was 18 years old. So that pain lasted for so long that I didn't figure out that that was the root of my problem until I went to prison and sat it down for a while and started thinking. You know what I'm saying? And I think the pain was so deep because I never experienced that before. I never went through something like that. And I didn't know how to process the pain that comes with it. It's not okay. It's not going to be all right. Someone that you deeply love was taken from you. Their soul, their spirit still exists, but their human body form no longer exists. You will never see that soul human body form ever again and it messed me up it messed me all the way up i never got right i drowned myself out with tons of things excessive drugs to block out my thoughts of the pain i was feeling you know what i'm saying it never gets easier because i am the sister of the of a murdered brother and i am the daughter of a mom whose child was taken from them nobody knows the amount of pain that comes with that unless you went through it before and i'm talking that exact experience for you not go through it with somebody else's account experience i'm talking about you as a person the pain runs deep I was messed up, for real. So when I had a chance to sit down and think about everything in my life, I got a chance to understand that when someone passes away that you deeply care for, the pain never gets easier. It never heals. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to cry. I've cried numerous amount of times because that death and that pain really affected me you know what i'm saying and i don't want to see people drown because the bible doesn't give structured instructions on how to deal with that type of pain you know what i'm saying it's something that you have to figure out get ahead of it and move on and i'm not saying move on from that person but move on to become the best version of you because that soul that's no longer here no matter how close it was to you does not want to see you drown in their death because they're never going to come back so my words of encouragement for anybody experiencing any type of pain like that firsthand is to understand that you as a person have to keep moving keep remaining strong be the best version of yourself because that spirit wants to see that that spirit does not want to see you crumble because you still have to live so the pain lasts a long time everybody's different i can't put a time span on that pain because it never really goes away but you have to learn how to process it and get in front of it so that you can continue to live a life that you want. 
And I personally have cried a million times over my brother's death. A million times. But what I realized is that he's guided me everywhere. Sometimes I just see his name on like a billboard or a TV commercial. And that just lets me know that he's guiding me to be the best version of myself. I used to have dreams about my brother all the time. But then as I started getting my life together, the dreams came less and less. And that made me feel like this is where he wants to see me at. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy. It wasn't an easy process, but I got in front of it. And I tried my best to become the best version of myself. So all the advice I have to say for someone experiencing any type of pain, whether it's death or sickness or losing anyone in your life, that could be hard for you process go through the pain don't never let anyone tell you they need you need to hurry up and get your life together because it, everybody's at their own pace don't let no one tell you that but what i do know is that the pain can last a long time mine's did for about eight nine years i was just messed up all across the board and i didn't know how to get right i didn't know how because I was really messed up for real, just going through life, but still affected by that pain for a long time. And now I just got in front of it, meaning you can make whoever your loved one is immortal. Meaning however you choose to immortal them, whether it's pictures on a necklace, whether it's uh, picture frames at home, whether it's talking about them, whether it's making shirts, whether it's putting them on your cars, whether it's doing whatever. But try to be the best you. Do not lose yourself in the pain of losing someone else. Because that could put you in a dark, dark, dark place. And I don't think that person will want to see you in that dark place. So the best advice I have for anyone experiencing anything like that is that I can't tell you how long the pain will last because everybody's different. But what I can say is that everybody has time on this earth. Make your time count. Make it count. And do the best that you can do for yourself. And try to stay as clear-headed as possible because that's when some of the best thoughts and decisions and, and overcomes happen. When you're clouded and you're trying to block everything out, as soon as you become sober, them thoughts and everything is going to come back. And then what are you going to do? So find solutions. Find things you love. Find things you enjoy. What's your goals? What's your dreams? Achieve them. Go after them. And immortal anybody that really hurt you when they passed away. That's the only thing you can do because you're still here on earth which means you got to make it count. So the pain is different for everyone, but make it count. And rest in peace to everybody who has fallen um, and will never come back on this earth. People out here are really hurting, for real. And if I could be of any motivation, all I could say is be the best version of yourself for you well that's all you guys have a very 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 good valentine today um i love everybody and make sure you do something nice for yourself and your significant other whatever the case may be enjoy life